Hey guys, Claude Diamond here. Prospects hate to say no. Did you know that? They hate to say no. So what do they do instead? You can, you know, we all talk to people, we share information. Of course, we want to go to the national bank. And so that, and we ask the closing question, typical sales guy. And what does the prospect say? Oh, this is wonderful. Uh, I'm going to give it my highest consideration. I think we can do business. Uh, can you call me in two weeks? Send me your contract. Send me your information. Uh, uh, we could do something. Uh, probably uh, we can do something. Okay. They hate to say no. Did you ever ask yourself why? Okay, prospects hate to say no because they feel guilty a little bit. And if you accept, see, in the old days when your Uncle Claude was selling, and I had one client once say to me, Claude, I'm going to give this my highest consideration. This is wonderful. Thank you for the lattes. Thank you for dinner. Thanks for driving two hours and, and showing me this property or whatever. And I'm going to give it my highest consideration. I'm going to tell my wife all about you. Mr. Schmuck here, I, it's a New York term of endearment. I, I go to the car, I think I've got a sale. I don't, you know what I have? Zero, nada, bubkish, I have shit. I don't have anything. Because I, in my mind, I didn't hear that they said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this my, uh, I'm gonna call you in the near distant future, I'm gonna give this my highest consideration. That's not a yes. Prospects hate to say no, because they want, they, they feel a little bit guilty. But it's your job, who's responsible for this? I used to go back to my mentor, Max. Okay, I talk all about them. I've written a couple books. The mentor teaches success. The mentor teaches gut sales. And I've gone back to Max. I'd go back to Max. Those prospects, they lie all the time. And he'd say, he said the words, to get the kids out of the room here for a second. He'd say to me, he said, there's no bad prospects. There's only shitty salesmen like you. I said, what do you mean me? I, I bought him a latte. I did all this. I gave him all this information. He said, you didn't have the guts. No, notice the sequel, sequa right into there. Um, he said, you didn't have the guts to, to pin them down. And when they say maybe and probably, you should say probably yes, probably no, maybe yes, no. What does that mean, sir? It's your responsibility. Why are we in business, ladies and gentlemen? Come on. We're in business to make money today. Can I have an amen, please? You've got to say to people, you've got to be specific. You've got to be an authority figure. Don't accept those garbage words, those, all those ambiguous words, those wishy-washy words, get specifics or fire them. Sir, when you say to me, you need to think about it, you're not allowed to think about it. You're just, you know what? That really means no. Let's be two men of the world here, okay? If you want to say no, God bless you. It's okay to say no to me, but it's not okay for us to waste more time. Do you want me calling you, leaving voicemails? If it's not right for you, let's just say it's over. If you can't, I will. And then they'll go back to justifying or explaining and you'll find out it's the money reason or something like that. Then you can go back into sales and you can fix it or finance it or you can fire them. Sounds like it's over. I fire people every day politely with nurturing, with stroking. OK, because you can't work with everybody, no matter what the gurus say. Not everybody's a prospect. They don't have the needs, the money, whatever on it. But don't accept the maybes, probablys. Don't prospects. Prospects can't. Uh, don't want to say no to you, so they invent these other things so they can escape and feel good about themselves. Don't let them get away with it. Why? Because you know what's coming. Nobody deserves success more than you. Nobody. I know how hard you guys work with all this stuff going on in the world and the news and all this thing going on. You've, all you folks want to do, you want to pay your bills, you want to take care of your family, your responsibilities, and put mac and cheese on the table like we all do, right? You don't need to stand in your red suit in front of a Rolls Royce or in front of a jet plane or all that other bling bling stuff. All you want to do is live, li live life to your terms. To, to get that one thing we all want is freedom. We, you, you just, nobody deserves success more than you. And I do answer my own phone, 970-281-5151, or go to my webpage, claudediamond.com, get a free book, look over my product services, or schedule a free 15-minute uh, consultation. I'd be glad to help you. Take care. Be safe.